Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Today I'm giving you an exclusive first look uh, at the brand new Personas Studio 192 digital audio interface from Personas. This is a 26 in, 32 out USB 3.0 audio interface. It's also a studio command center uh, because it has options for a talkback mic and many other features that are going to help you uh, to use one device for being able to get everything done in your studio. It has eight remote controlled XMAX preamps, remote controlled meaning that you can control this device from an iPad, uh, and that is a super cool feature. And uh, it's a very sleek, straightforward audio interface, but one of the cool things about this device is that it is going to allow you to record at the ultra high sample rate of 192 kilohertz. So if you are someone who's been wanting to go up to that ultra high sample rate, uh, and maybe you've been wrestling with which audio interface to use for that, the Studio 192 I think is going to be a great answer to that need. So uh, we're just going to take a look at the device itself. Uh, I'll show you guys the packaging so that you can see it. I know packaging is always cool to see. We'll show you the packaging, we'll take a look at the device itself, talk about some of the features, and then uh, tell you how you can get this device for your own studio. So we'll start off by just giving you a quick glance at the packaging. Here's the front. Let's spin it to the back. And the back. Personas' packaging is always, I think, done really well. It's, it's pretty, but it's also very informative, giving you information about uh, signal routing, suggested signal routing, and the features on the audio interface. Uh, but without being, I think, too salesy, which is something I think is awesome. Here is the top of the box, and this is going to show you all of your ins and outs and give you information right there so you know what you're getting into. And we'll just spin the sides real quick. And finally, the underside of the box as well. All right, now I've gone ahead and plugged the Studio 192 into its power source because I'd like for you guys just to be able to see this device while it's powered on. So let's go ahead and power it on. Power switch is on the right hand side there. Now the power switch is going to glow red when it's not connected to a computer. And right now it's not connected to a computer, uh, but that's okay because we're just going to be talking about the options on the device right now, the features, things like that. So let's dive right into it. Now, first of all, on the front of the face of the unit, you're going to find two inputs and these are XLR and quarter inch compatible. Next you're going to find this knob which is that nice Personas blue and it's nice and grippy. It's got really good texture on it and it doesn't spin too easily but it doesn't take too much to spin it. This allows you to control your preamps and you can also control, you can also select uh, the preamp number that you're going to be controlling by swapping through using the button selector right here. Uh, you also have your 48 volt selector and of course your meter allowing you to control your preamp level. Next up you've got your talkback button and then you have dim and mute and mono controls. Input level meters. Now this is an individual level meter for each of those inputs. And so as you are inputting, of course, into the device, you're going to see each of these meters bouncing in time. This allows you to adjust the preamp control as you need to. You have a main level meter, stereo level meter, your main volume knob, your output knob, and again this is that nice Personas blue, has some great texture on it, not too easy to spin but not too hard, feels really solid. Next up we have the individual headphone uh, outputs. Now these are each controlled by an individual uh, headphone knob, again that nice Personas blue and nice and textured, easy to grab, and these are going to allow indi individual independent outputs. And so that's going to allow you to, of course, be able to build your headphone mixes right off of the device as you'd see fit. Next up, we'll talk about the physical connectors on the back of the unit. We have our power connector, our super speed USB 3.0 port, and our ADAT I.O. Now the ADAT I.O. is for connecting to the Digimax DP88. This is going to allow you to get the extra inputs and outputs uh, that you're going to be getting from this device digitally. 
we have Spitify O, then we have Word Clock I.O. Now we're moving on to our physical audio ins and outs. We have our main out left and right, line outputs, those are TRS balanced, and finally we have our mic line inputs. These are XLR slash TRS, allowing you to insert uh, XLR cables with microphones, of course, and use the preamps on those inputs, and also able to insert instrument inputs into these as well. So this is a little bit like the Presonus 1818 VSL, which I've talked about before. If you're looking to get the extra I.O., pair this up with the Presonus Digimax DP88. Uh, or for most of us, I think for most folks, just using the eight physical ins and outs is probably going to be enough especially because you have dedicated headphone outputs on the Studio 192 as well. I think that that's a really big uh, selling point on this device because that way you can set up your headphone mixes very easily. And of course you have TalkBack, which is pretty awesome. And this is really useful for when you're working in the studio with other musicians or with your band and et cetera. And there you have it, everyone. That is the Personas Studio 192 high performance digital audio interface allowing you to record at the ultra high sample rate of 192 kilohertz on a USB 3.0 interface with 26 ins and 32 outs. Now uh, in our next video we will talk about how to connect the Studio 192 to your computer and use the remote functions with the Studio 192. Uh, so you'll want to stay tuned for that video, check that one out, we'll have a link in the description. And uh, in the meantime, if you guys do have questions, comments, if there's anything that we missed, if there's something you're curious about, do let us know. I think this is a really solid offering from uh, Personas. I love uh, how sleek and simple it is. I love the fact that it's just a standard 1U. And uh, I'm really just loving the fact that it allows you to record at such a high sample rate in such a sleek and, uh, and simple device. So. Really cool new device from Personas. I hope you guys found this useful and cool. And as always, questions, comments, please be in touch and watch for our next video on the Studio 192 from Personas. If you want to add this to your studio, you can always check out PCAudioLabs.com where we do sell great Personas gear. And of course, you can check out Personas' uh, store on their website, Personas.com. As always, guys, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.